today i'm going to show you how to mask a character from a scene or even yourself from a video so what you want to do is duplicate the layer that you already have from here is click on the roto brush tool then double click on the layer itself. So once you have this, it should bring up like another window on top. So you have two windows and it should have this. So then you can just drag this green little paintbrush all around the character. And if you notice, there's like a pink outline around the character, which is gonna be the mask itself. You could use a pen tool, but for this, you'd have to do it every single frame and that's gonna take a long time. So I would just cover up the parts that is missing. As you can see, it's missing a lot in the hand and even inside the body right here as well. And then from here, you just kind of want to go through every frame and make sure it's all there you can see his hand there's a little gap here kind of just want to make it tighter to remove an object or you don't want or like you see here how it's like there's little gaps you just left all and you just boom kind of just go around it and it tightens it around those areas also over here on quality it says like best and something else i don't know what it is but change it to the best setting possible that's there and for this the composition frame mismatch you don't have to worry about that too much it's just the composition settings is mine's at 30 frames and the clip i'm using is at 244 uh twixter so that's why it shows up that pop up but yeah so once you get all this done masked out um i will show you what to do next so yeah once you're done with this then you want to come to the beginning of the frame and hit freeze that yeah, once you froze it you come back to the main composition you can close this now and then once you turn off the bottom layer you can see we have it fully masked out and you can just play it you can still see a little bit of the background but that's just because i didn't take my time on it because this is just a tutorial so here you can choose your overlay and just place it in between so like kind of sandwich it in between uh, the character and the mask character and then you can just turn the bottom one on and the or the overlay you want to change this to add because if you go to overlay then it just blows out the background and it oversaturates it. So you want to go to add so that way the background is still clean. That's how you mask out a character and add an overlay. You could even add text to it. So yeah, you could even add text and just put this right around here. And then you could just add some effects to it if you want. Turn this down, turn the brightness right around there. And yeah, that's how you mask out a character and add some background to it. So for your edits, something that I feel like should be known to most people, especially if you're new and you want to learn how to mask out things, moving characters specifically you would want to use the rotor brush for steel images you would go with the pen tool so you go with the pen tool and kind of just mask out everything for moving objects you would want a rotor brush and then double click the layer for still objects you'd use the pen tool just because it's more you have more you know precision with it it's kind of like surgery you have more precision with it so that's how you would use it but so yeah 